you might be an experienced product manager who's entering into a new role and there's just like too much to do, too much to learn. So my approach in those situations is first you want to align with your new manager what his or her expectations are for you in the first 30 days. Most managers will say, oh, we don't expect anything of you. Just spend time learning, etc., which is good. So you can say, great, yes, I will spend time learning. Is there anything specific you'd like me to learn? But go a step further and ask them, is there some burning problem on the team that you'd at least like me to investigate and diagnose? Because then that frees them up. Not all managers, but many managers feel guilty about assigning a bunch of tasks to people early on. That's why the way you frame it is, I'm not asking you to give me a problem that I'll solve. I'm just asking you, what is the burning issue that I can at least diagnose and share with you or share with the team? So that's when you start hearing, oh, actually, yes, you know, there's this kind of indecision around this particular feature, whether it should be a native feature or a web feature. Can we figure that out? You don't have all the context, but can you look into it? So you say, yes, I'm going to look into it. You want to collect such items from your engineering counterpart, from your design counterpart, the people you're working closely with and your manager. So that's the work you should aim to do in your first 30 days, maybe two or three of these things. The important thing here is it'll flag for you what is important and urgent for the team. Plus it will give you a way to build credibility, but in a very intentional way, not randomly. See, many new PMs start doing random shit just to add value. So an example is a PM will come in and say, hey team, great to be on the team. You know what? I spent the last four days to aggregate user feedback from this place, whatever. And here's a bunch of user asks and uh, it'll be great if you can review it and provide feedback. Well, okay, maybe it'll work. But in most cases, what happens in these situations is the team goes, oh fuck, we already have enough work to do. This new fancy spanshy PM came in and has put more work on us. Some people will view it as condescending, which is like, Hey, you just came into the team. I've been working on this thing for four years. And now in your first week, you are telling me all the shit we should be doing that we haven't been doing. So the intention is good here, but the execution and the messaging is the problem. That's why you want to identify the few issues, two or three issues that the right people flag for you. And you want to try to investigate them, try to diagnose, try to provide recommendations. That's the kind of work, real work I want you to do. Other than that, I want you to focus on getting context. That is reading, that is going to customer meetings, that is reading industry reports, understanding the domain, all of that. Avoid the temptation of showing how smart you are, which is like, oh, I read all this shit. You think you are very smart, but you're not yet, you know, smart enough in this domain to be able to shout from the rooftops that, oh, I've figured out all the problems. Maybe you have, but don't talk about it in the first week uh, or the first month. So that's the getting context part I want to want you to focus on. So the first one was two or three high leverage tasks or problems. The second one is getting context, which is very important. The third one I want you to focus on is building relationships. The way you build relationships is standard ways you do one on ones, obviously. In your first few one on ones, don't assign action items. See, PMs have this bad habit of assigning action items everywhere they go. Don't assign action items to people in your first few meetings. Try to understand what they care most deeply about. What are the problems that they are seeing? What are the problems that they want to solve? If it's a legal counterpart or a compliance counterpart or a privacy counterpart or whatever else, what are the problems that you are seeing that I should pay attention to? What can I learn from you? What has been tried before that hasn't worked? What kind of working style do you prefer? In that conversation, I want you to also share without bragging how you empathize with them and how you understand how engineering works. If you're talking to an engineering counterpart, how you understand how design works, because that's a subtle way of building credibility with people without bragging or giving them action items. So those are the three things, the, the high leverage focus tasks being number one, second is getting context and third is building relationships. That's what I want you to focus on in the first 30 days. 